So how soon will we see the next flight, Flight 7 of Starship? Well, if you were like me and you were considering January, we might be right. Thanks to new information from documents filed by NASA, actually, to the FAA, we've learned that Starship Flight 7 is planned for no earlier than January 11th of next year. Which, by the way, is not all that far away. As the launch pad shares on X, these new documents filed by NASA are requesting a limited exemption of the lighting requirements. The exemption would allow NASA's Gulfstream 5 aircraft to conduct lightless operations in United States domestic airspace as part of imaging calibration flights in support of the SpaceX Starship 7 launch. So NASA is looking to receive expedited review and consideration to accommodate multiple flights over the Gulf of Mexico and Southwest Texas beginning as soon as December 7th, 2024. This is not talking about the actual launch date. They need to do these flights to calibrate the onboard sensors used to image the peak heating of SpaceX's Starship 7 during re-entry. So NASA 5 is currently scheduled to deploy to Perth, Australia beginning January 3rd for a targeted January 11th Starship 7 launch event from Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas. NASA 5 will image the re-entry and peak heating events of the Starship vehicle approximately one hour after launch as it comes over the horizon and splashes down into the eastern Indian Ocean. So Kat is out of the bag apparently with that request and I just wanted to let you guys know about that so you can plan as soon as possible or at least, you know, have it in your mind that Starship Flight 7 might be in January. So what the heck else is going on in the space world? Well, I got an interesting newsletter from the FAA and I wanted to share with you some of their commercial space licensing facts. Since we've been talking so much about launch licenses, some delays with the FAA, and here are just some numbers for you to ponder. And by the way, keep in mind, the FAA has indicated that they will approve the Starship launch increase next year from 5 to 25 launches in one year, which will be pretty crazy, and we'll see if SpaceX can even pull it off. But let me read you some of these facts. The number of FAA licensed commercial operations, launches, and reentries has grown by more than 900% in the last decade from 14 in fiscal year 2015 to a new record of 148 in fiscal year 2024. In 2024, the FAA Office of Commercial Space Transportation increased its staffing to a historic high of, drumroll please, 165, up from 118 at the end of fiscal year 2022. In addition, the office made 49 licensing actions, including issuing two new licenses, 10 license renewals, and 37 license modifications. It also conducted 23 environmental reviews and performed 810 inspections. Now, under federal law, the FAA has up to 180 days after accepting an application to approve or deny a new launch or re-entry license. The FAA has met this deadline 98% of the time. I still think that needing six months to approve an application, now granted, they don't usually take six months, but the fact that that is the guideline that should probably be shortened um, in order to support, you know, rapid iteration and as many flights as possible. Uh, let me know what you guys think about having those 180 days um, after accepting an application to approve or deny a new launch or reentry license. That seems quite long to me, but I'd love to hear your opinion. Now, by the way, if we get things going January 11th, we have flight seven. Flight 8 is also going to be pretty crazy. We're going to have the new block of starships, so the V2 starships for Flight 7. But Flight 8, <laughs> man, you really might want to, you know, laser focus on that one. Starship is anticipated to achieve significant milestones like the first orbital flight, deployment of a Starlink payload, the first ship catch, Potentially, if the next uh, ship landing in the ocean goes well on Flight 7. And that's going to be pretty crazy. I don't know how sold out Boca Chica and South Padre Island is going to be. But let me tell you, it was the most busy I've ever seen it on this last flight. So if they're going to be catching both uh, the ship and the booster, yeah, you better make plans now. You better start saving now. <laughs> 
And finally, after many years of development for a land swap with Texas for further Starship development, SpaceX has apparently backed out on the deal. This land swap deal with the state of Texas has been in the news a lot. SpaceX was looking to obtain 43 acres of Boca Chica State Park in exchange for 477 acres of land further north by the Laguna Atascosa National Wildlife Refuge. So this deal would have given the state a lot of land and SpaceX would have gained a little extra space around its Starbase facility for more launch operations. But as of September, SpaceX, they're no longer interested in that deal. And keep in mind, there was a lot of pushbacks uh, over this deal from environmentalists and members of a local tribe, the Carrizo Camacruto tribe that claimed the land is sacred. But we don't really have an indicated reason from SpaceX as to why they're backing out of the deal, which, by the way, had already been approved by Texas Parks and Wildlife Commission. Uh, it was being held up by legal challenges. But we'll see if anything changes with the new Trump administration. Some people are speculating that maybe SpaceX doesn't actually have to do the land swap. After all, maybe they'll just be granted that area. But we'll see what what ends up happening. But that is, you know, a very interesting twist because this has been talked about for quite some time now. I think this deal has been in the works since like 2019. That's when discussions reportedly began in 2019. The deal was ironed out in 2023. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens with that, but that is some uh, recent news. And as a little bonus, check out this video that Starlink posted. High-speed internet for when you're flying through space or coming in for a landing on the other side of the world. I mean, just listen to this. So yes, Starlink powered me during my live stream, and it's powering... Uh, Starship for their live views during the flight and obviously here uh, Starlink is promoting um, their new mini it looks like on the side of this very very wobbly uh, buoy here or maybe it's like an inflatable dinghy I'm not exactly sure regardless let me know in the comments if you guys are going to be at flight seven or if you're gonna try and wait until the catch is more of a guarantee until potentially there's a booster catch as well as a ship catch. I'd love to hear from you and thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, it has been so much fun covering the development of Starship and next year is going to be the craziest year yet. I cannot wait for what's in store for 2025.